everybody, Coach Jorge Capistani is my awesome wife, Marty, fellow coach. We're here, video number two in this little uh, volley series, um, how to practice the volley. This is still gonna be the ball machine, but Marty, now the targets have changed. It becomes a little bit of a competition, so you versus me or two players versus each other. And let's just talk about targets. You're gonna be hitting to that corner back there. I'm gonna be hitting to this corner. So my target area back here, you can see what we call zone three and four, the deep part, and all the way through to the alley. That's a big target, and that's only worth one point, okay? But that little section there you see lit up between the blue and white line, mm -hmm. okay? That is the, all, that's a smaller target inside of a big target, which is always a good idea. That's worth five points, okay? okay? Now you'll be trying to do it over here. Mm -hmm. One point for anything deep and in the alley is good, and five points if you hit that little uh, lit up area. Now Marty, we'll switch sides eventually, but I'll start over here, and we're gonna start roughly here, everybody. And here's the other thing. You and I have to move. We have to hit a forehand volley, and then we have to hustle. So we're gonna add a bit of movement to this, but I'm not gonna make the machine do it. I'm gonna make the player do it, okay? So we'll put a scoreboard up. <laughs> we'll see who wins. Coach Jorge, Coach Marty, here we go. Where's it going first? Come on, go to me. Okay, zero points. All right, I'm getting ready. There's my backhand, still zero points. Okay, hang in with me, guys. I got this. Oh, I got a whopping zero, okay? Oh, that was a five bagger. Okay, okay, uh, that was deep. I'll take it. That's one. Okay, that's another one. Okay, we're settling down. We're settling down. That was a one. I missed my little target. Oh, close. And you go for about a minute, uh, everybody watching, uh, and then or longer, and you're just getting practice, and you're noticing that I have a little movement required. It's not necessarily an easy volley up by my chest. I'm trying to get it down there close to my waist or knees to make it more realistic. Let's go another 10 seconds, Marty. Score as many as you can. Right. Oh, I think I got a five bagger there. Oh, I'm getting close to those five baggers. One more, one more for you. And boom, okay? So it's a little bit of workout because you're moving, but the, the cool part is it gives you targets. And I think that's super important. Now, we could change the targets, right? The next time I do this, I might say one deep for everything back there. And I might light up this little sliver here, blue line to the side, and have that be five. But I have to get it in there to be five. That would be tougher. So that's one variation. Uh, now we're gonna switch ends. And just for fun, Marty, let's actually do that. So target, new targets, anything deep is one, that's the same. But now the five is up here, only in this little sliver. So if you go for it, it's five, but it's narrow, and you're gonna, you have to decide if you wanna do it, okay? So you go to that corner, I go to this corner, here we go. New game, I'm going deep at first. Oh, it was wide, okay. Long, come on, Jorge. Uh-oh, I'm already smoking me. I took a backhand, that should have been a forehand. I'm going for it. Oh, I choked a little angle. Okay, I'm going for it again. Nailed it, I got me a five-bagger. Uh, that's a one. I'm gonna go, no, missed the five-bagger. This is a one-bagger, nailed it. Why do you keep a score? Oh, close. Come on. Oh, I got a five bagger. Two more shots each, Marty. Missed it. There's a deep one. Last one. Did I just push it wide? So you can see this is pretty fun and it's targets. Now, depending on the player, your skill level or the player you're working with, we're gonna ch challenge the strike zones as always, okay? So strike zone four above the head, strike zone three is probably the easiest. Maybe I start beginners there uh, to get used to it, but shortly after that, I'm gonna make sure they get practice down below the knees, strike zone one, strike zone two is lay your thigh, so they really get all of that, all right? So, you like it? Mm -hmm. All right. We have a scoreboard, we don't even know because the editor's doing it. So this is a perfect competition. You can do this just with yourself, 
challenge yourself. You can challenge a friend. You can have a group of people doing it. So guys, thanks for checking it out. This is video two in our three-part series. Look for the next one. If you have any questions or if you like it, go ahead and share this video. And if you're watching anywhere where you can make a comment, just leave a comment below. Marty and I will read in the comments all the time. And thanks again. I hope you can put that one to use this week.